so I got about two cups of uh, red beans here. For this recipe, you're supposed to use kidney beans, but they didn't have any at the store, so I'm going to use red beans. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but we are making rice and peas. So I'm going to soak these. You should soak them overnight, but I won't be doing that. I'll be soaking them for about 30 minutes, and then uh, I'll show you guys the next uh, process after I, uh, once I get there. Okay, you guys, what you will need for this recipe is you're going to need about two cups of rice. It all depends on how much you want to make. I'm going to use about two cups of rice. Um, you need some ginger. You need some green onions. You need about five cloves of garlic. You need one, I don't know why I have two here because these peppers are hot. One uh, habanero pepper. Some coconut milk. You don't have to use Thai, any kind of coconut milk you want to use. But that's the flavor I'm going to use, the brand I'm going to use. And then you also need a few sprigs of thyme. I will come back once I get all this um, together and get ready to put everything in my pot. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, so in this pot I have my two um, cups of red beans. You can use um, kidney beans if you want to use, but I am using red beans. So I have my two cups of red beans in here and I'm going to add four cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger in there you guys you, you need pimento seeds but it's kind of hard to find them it's a Jamaican thing where I'm at they don't got no Jamaican stores like that so I'm going to use some allspice about a teaspoon of allspice uh, stock seeds whatever you want to call them and then we are going to cover up these beans with some hot water hot water hot so you want to just pour those that in there pretty much until you cover up the beans you want the beans to be covered so this is about five to six cups of water I'm gonna use all six cups that's six cups of water that I boiled and it's hot so you guys I'm gonna turn this pot on and let it go and then um, we'll come back once they're done these probably will cook for about an hour to an hour and a half so we'll see I'll check them in about an hour and then come back so you guys I'm gonna put my top over it then but I'm gonna leave it uncovered and we're gonna turn this on medium high heat so I'm gonna leave it a little I'm just crack it a little bit here you see how I I didn't put the top all the way on there so we're gonna let those cook up and then I'll come back and let you guys know the rest of the stuff that I okay you guys so there are my beans they're my beans my beans I am going to add I'm going to add my um, scallions. I'm going to break them out like this. Just get, You just want to get the flavors out of it. And I'm going to toss those in here, y'all. I'm going to take my thyme and toss that in there. I'm going to take my uh, habanero pepper. I, took, I put my thyme in there, y'all, because I got thyme today. <laughs> I want to use that. So, y'all, we're going to bring that up to a boil. Well, it's already at a boil. We're going to mix it together. And then I'm going to add my seasonings. I forgot to tell you guys what seasonings I was using. So I am using a half a teaspoon of complete seasoning, half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. And, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of seasoning salt and a teaspoon of complete seasoning and also a teaspoon of pepper. If you guys want, you know, you can season to taste. If it's not salty enough for you, add to some more seasoning. If that's what you feel like you want to do. So you guys, you, in this pepper, you do not want to pop it open because that thing is hot. You just want to use it for some flavor. Only use one. I wouldn't use more than one if I was you. And then you guys, we are going to take our coconut milk. One whole can of coconut milk. We're going to add it to this. Y'all see that? Well, my beans are done, you guys. I said, did I tell you I cooked my beans for an hour and a half? They are done. And, uh, I got two cups of rice that I'm going to add in here as well. We're going to add the rice in there. And like I said, you guys, I am using basmati rice. Basmati. So you're going to cook all of this. Y'all see, don't that look good? Y'all, it smell like Jamaica up in here. I ain't never been, even been to Jamaica, so I can't even tell you how it smells. But that's what it smells like in here. It smells like Jamaica. Okay, so y'all, I'm going to turn, turn my heat down to three. And let it simmer. I'm going to cover it up. 
look, you want to cover it up all the way. You don't want to let it peek out this time. You want to cover it up all the way, but I'm going to turn it all the way down to three, and I'm going to let it simmer. I will be back with the finished product, y'all. All right, T? Okay, you guys, this is the finished rice, y'all. Rice and peas. Y'all, this is the finished product. I'm about to fluff it with my fork. Let me uh get my phone situated. I'm taking that out. I'm taking all of this stuff out, but y'all see that? Don't that look good? Mmm. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? I'm going to take all that green stuff out. All of those big things you're going to take out. Unless y'all want to eat that, you can. I'm not eating that. But that is my finished rice and peas right there, y'all. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh, don't forget to wash your hands. And they ain't making you wear no mask, but don't forget. <laughs>